G'day everyone, Grand Tour here once again. It's another uh, 1v1 Rome 2 battle. And uh, today I'm up against Hell Hokang, who's uh, brought Pontus, and I've brought Lusitani. And uh, I'm going for a new kind of playstyle lately. I've uh, got sick of being the aggressor. And um, so I've started to play a bit more passive, and this is um, one of my builds that I use. And uh, I'll read it out for you. Got the Canterbury Cav there, got four of them, two on the right, two on the left. And then I've got uh, on my left flank the Iberian Slinger, Balearic, Veteran Shield, two of them, and the Skatari Spearman. And then in my middle, I've got the uh, Veteran Shield Warriors, Lusitani Naval General, if um, raise the banner and rally. This is Gen Skill. Another veteran shield. Out the back I've got the uh, Iberian Swordsman, just for a few uh, volleys when I get locked up in the line battle. And then uh, Skitari Cav out the back. I've got the Balearic Slingers, two of them in the middle. And on the right flank I've got the veteran shields. And then uh, Skitari Spearman again, with uh, Iberian Slinger out the back. And for Hokang, he's got the uh, Scythian Horse Archer. Capidation Cav, Bronze Shield Pikeman General, his uh, Gen Skill is uh, Razor Banner and Rally, Mercenary Naked Swords, middle line of uh, Bronze Shield Pikeman and Pikeman, so he's got the uh, three Bronze Shields and one Pikeman, and out the back of that he's got the Mercenary Naked Swords, then some Eastern Archers, so he's got um, four of them. Then another Scythian Horse Archer, and then he's got uh, two more Capitations, and Bronze Shield Pikeman, and Naked Sword there, so we'll get it underway. So, uh, yeah, never usually bring the Skirmish Cav, I've never been a fan of it, but um, for this uh, later style of play, it works in well. So I'll see here with the uh, Horse Archer, it's coming in, and what I do is I just... Um, Soak up a few volleys and also get a couple of my own. Try and push them forward into range. They do some decent damage to the uh, horse archers. As you can see there, pelting them down with a few shots. Now with this passive style of play I've got, relies heavy on my uh, skirmish. So it, the plan is to skirmish first and then uh, strike later. Whereas I used to strike first and then skirmish later. So um, I found it was getting counted a bit easy lately when someone brings um, a heavy skirmish build so sort of just changed my style up a bit changes as good as a whole day they say so we'll see how it goes for me I'm not too used to playing this way but uh, I definitely can play this way so I'm getting a few good volleys off here onto the Scythian horse archers it's depleting them quite well and doing some good HP damage. So I'm quite confident that um, not only this is going to soak up some good uh, ammunition off the horse archers, but all I need is a couple of good shots myself and uh, should work pretty well. So now I'm getting into range with my skirmish. And I'm just going to sit back and uh, do a little bit of skirmish in there. So that was a good volley. Takes down quite a few. So I'm losing a few dudes, but um, then once I get into a few volleys and get into um, the melee with the cav, should take him down quite easily. He comes in with the um, Cappadocians to help him out, but uh, over here he's lost a lot in the horse archers. But this is um, where I start to open up with my skirmish, get in range and uh, start overwhelming with a bit of skirmish there. So the horse archer's still alive, I've lost one uh, skirmish cav, but that's alright. I'll just keep this one near me, Skitari Spearman. So he's starting to get some good shots off now with the Balearics. You're going to rip the Eastern Archers a new bum hole. 
once they get a few good shots off. As you can see they're going down quite good. Look at the uh, two on one here. That'll be great for them. Switch this uh, Iberian Slinger to shoot this horse archer. He's doing a good job of getting them down. So as you can tell, the difference in my style right away. I'd usually be amongst it by now and uh, <laughs> straight into the melee mode. Now I'm just sitting back, taking my time. Skirmishing down first. As you can see, his skirmish is starting to go down now. I've got this one cav in case he decides to come for me line and get hold of me Blerics. They're a very powerful unit, so I want to keep them Blerics in. So I'm coming in now just to push him back a bit. So I need this cav to withdraw now. And then just do a blocking motion here, and it blocks the Cappadocian's cav very well. So I'm getting with my veteran shields now. Now I've skirmished him down a bit. I'm quietly confident that I can get in there and get amongst it now. Making sure the eastern archers are right off the field. Got the skirmishing advantage, so I'm going to use it well here. Just going to pull up and uh, get a few shots on his pikemen with my Iberian swordsman. These are veteran shield warriors are now into the mercenary naked swords. That's going to go well for them. Mercenary naked's going down quite well. They didn't quite get the charge off good there. So now I'm blocking up uh, these troops, getting some great shots off with the Iberians onto the naked swords. Over here is Cappadocian Cav, into me skirmish cav. Got this one around the back so I can take care of the uh, rest of the eastern archers and whatnot. Chasing this um, Sithian horse archer off with my other skirmish cav there. So you can see me skirmish advantage taking control here and starting to make sure I've got that advantage. So now I'm just getting rid of them naked swords over here. His general's locked up with one of my uh, veteran shields. He has got um, in amongst these pikes, so that will um, do some good damage to him. I've lost one of my veteran shields for 56 kills here. So I decide to bring in my general. And he does a good charge with the uh, cappers. Oh no, he missed that charge, so I'm going to take the advantage in to get these bronze shield pikemen that are all messed up and not coherent at all. So you can see the kills starting to tick on my general there quite quickly. So I put the uh, raise the banner. He gets in um, to my Iberian slingers with the Cappadocian, which is all right. It's a good move. Then he comes here with the Cappadocians and uh, gets rid of this Iberian swordsman and into my Balearics, which I don't want. So it's got 33 left. I'm going to train this uh, Balearic and this Balearic onto his uh, cav to get rid of that. So my general's over here getting some great kills. Hasn't lost a man for 63 kills. So I'm going to hit the raise the banner. Try and keep these uh, veteran shields and that in, in a bit longer. Iberian swordsman uh, got 30 kills. That's all you want them to do, really. Got rid of his cav there. So I've still got some of my Balearics left, which is good. Because I'll need them for the pikes here. So these veteran shields are on the front of the pikes a little bit. Mercenary naked swords getting in amongst it. I'm derping out a little there. So I'm going to keep this uh, Skitari Spearman back, try and protect my units a bit. So I still do, do have this cav out the back here, which I'm going to use now to get into the eastern archers, even if they are going to get hit by the cappers, at least I'll get rid of the archers so I have the uh, full skirmish advantage and still enough troops to protect them. So if he does want to bring his cav in, he's going to get um, three Balearic Slingers shooting at it, which will uh, wreck him quite quickly. Let's get these Veteran Shields into his General again, which has got um, 67 kills, but now I think it's uh, all but gone. I've been shooting it with the Balearics as well, so it's been whittling it down well. It's my General in here again, only lost three men, 112 kills, he's doing great. 
So now he's going to try and get the uh, cav into my skirmish. I'm going to train my skirmish straight onto his cav. Come in with the Skitari. Lock up the bronze shield pikeman. Now I've got all my skirmish trained on that cav. So it comes for the uh, worst bit of skirmish I've got, which is the Iberians. And they get a good shot off, and then their Blerics have hit the quick reload, and now they get some shots off. So he's trying to come out the back with the Cappadocians now to get rid of these Blerics. But as it stands, I've uh, done a lot of damage to him, so he won't be doing too much damage to me. Them vital shots I'm getting off now are good. That Bronze Shield Pikeman's down. So we've got this uh, Bleric Sling here, 86 kills, 76 kills, 137 for that Bleric. So, as I said before, this is the way I'm going to play now. Good luck trying to counter it <laughs> to all my opponents. It's easy to counter me um, aggressive play style because you can just pull back and uh, skirmish me and whatnot. But I think this one here, this play style is a bit too hard to um, counteract. Still be able to uh, counter it somehow, but it's a lot harder to counter than being too aggressive. Still a little bit aggressive left in me. I'm going to try and tone it down a bit. <laughs> Shouldn't attack so early. Should have sat back and uh, used this skirmish a little bit better. But as you can see from the kills, 150 on that one. 76 on him. They've been used pretty well, I think. General, 210 kills. Only lost uh, stuff all men there. At 13, so that's great. She's all over over. So very good play by uh, Ho Kang as well. He's a good player. So that's why I wanted to test out my new kind of builds and that on him. See actually how good they work. And you can see from that um, they work pretty well. So yeah, all my skirmish getting great kills. Even the Iberians done pretty well. Um, yeah, but my veteran shields done their job well. This one 214 kills. 145 so but me general 226 kills he done very well uh care to bring cav they all done well for how much they cost and how i used them but um this player here getting 147 kills is vital so you can see his skirmish got a bit beaten there by the blerics which um left me free to shoot these uh naked swords and the cav as well so but this cav doing well 285 kills and uh, horse archers doing okay, yep. So very good job, Ho Kang. Very good game. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the battle. And uh, I'll show you more from my new play style soon. And uh, how effective it is. Because I've got a few more battles that I played against Ho Kang. I'll talk to you soon.